The Deafening Silence, African Union's Stance in the Somaliland Recognition Standoff. Hello and welcome to NewsFest Addis, your daily source of news bites, locally, regionally, and internationally. The recent signing of a Memorandum of Understanding between Ethiopia and Somaliland has reignited discussions surrounding the recognition of Somaliland, causing tensions with Somalia. Despite Somalia's appeal for intervention from the African Union, AU, and the United Nations, the AU faces criticism for its long-standing hesitancy in addressing Somaliland's plea for recognition. This analysis delves into the underlying reasons for the AU's reluctance and explores potential avenues for resolution. Historical Context The AU has traditionally been circumspect about altering colonial borders, a stance deeply rooted in its general opposition to separatism across the continent. Despite this, exceptions exist, such as the AU's support for Western Saharan independence from Morocco. The Horn of Africa has witnessed changes in colonial borders, resulting in the creation of Eritrea and South Sudan. The AU's cautious approach is also reflected in its belief that federations or unions created by states are irreversible, though historical instances, like the dissolution of the Federation of Rhodesia and Nyasaland, challenge this perspective. AU's mandate and past efforts. In 2005, the AU commissioned a fact-finding mission to Somaliland, acknowledging its unique historical context and self-justified claims. The mission recommended a tailored approach for dealing with Somaliland and urged the AU to promptly engage with both Mogadishu and Hargeisa. Despite these recommendations, concrete steps from the AU have been notably absent. In 2010, the AU Peace and Security Council directed consultations with Somaliland, yet progress remains elusive. Proposed solutions experts, including Stephen M. Schwartz, propose a decisive AU response. Schwartz suggests a four-step approach commencing with a new fact-finding mission to update African leaders on the evolving situation. Secondly, the AU could set a deadline for AU-sponsored negotiations between Somalia and Somaliland. Thirdly, the AU should spearhead the negotiations, demanding good-faith participation from both parties. Finally, in case of a deadlock, the AU should publicly convey its views and recommend further steps to the Assembly of the African Union. In addition to Schwartz's recommendations, there is a growing call for increased engagement from external actors, especially the United States. U.S. House Foreign Affairs Committee lead Republican Michael McCall and bipartisan House members advocate for deepening diplomatic, economic, and security engagement with Somaliland. This suggests that international pressure and collaboration may play a pivotal role in prompting the AU to adopt a more proactive stance in resolving the Somaliland issue. The AU's hesitancy in addressing Somaliland's quest for recognition is a multifaceted issue rooted in historical precedents and a cautious approach to border adjustments. The proposed solutions, including revamped fact-finding missions and AU-led negotiations, present a roadmap for tackling the protracted dispute. International involvement, particularly from the United States, emerges as a potential catalyst for the AU to take more assertive steps in resolving the Somaliland issue, fostering stability and diplomatic progress in the Horn of Africa. Future implications. The African Union's handling of the Somaliland recognition issue carries significant implications for the Horn of Africa's stability and regional dynamics. Continued reluctance to address Somaliland's quest may perpetuate the existing tensions, potentially leading to further regional instability. Furthermore, the AU's ability to navigate this complex situation will shape its credibility in dealing with secessionist movements across the continent. An effective resolution could set a positive precedent for conflict resolution within the AU, showcasing its commitment to fostering stability and unity. The international community's watchful eye on the AU's response underscores the importance of collaborative efforts and diplomatic engagement to facilitate a constructive outcome in the long-standing Somaliland-Somalia dispute. This was our news analysis for the day. Make sure to join us for more.